Hi, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to draw the Marvel character She-Hulk using Polychromous colored pencils on a torn tanned sketch paper. So let's get started. So these are the art supplies I'm going to use for this drawing and you can pause the video right here to note them down. I'm already done with this rough outline and you can find all the references including this outline grid reference on my Patreon profile. Link is in the description. I'm using this Strathmore's 400 series torn tan sketch paper and the dimensions of this paper are 11 x 14 inches. It's a thin 118 GSM medium grade paper with fine texture which is specifically designed for charcoal or pit pastels. As this was my first time with this paper, I had to do some experiments in the forehead portion before understanding and learning the techniques required to achieve realism on a textured paper like this. So the first mistake I did here was I used 168 as a base layer instead of using a yellow color because after using 173 as base layer it was really difficult for me to blend two dark layers of colors together and then adding a light colored layer of yellow on top of them just didn't work like I expected it to and because of that I used the white color for the shines and highlights which looked really odd so I had to blend all the layers again and again and again in order to get the satisfactory results I used this white blender pencil by Derwent for blending purposes you can find this from any art store nearby so the second approach that worked for me on this specific paper is I added the base using 205 and tried my best to fill each and every single grain of texture and then I used 168 and added the second layer on top of it and by the way the real-time version of this tutorial is available on my patreon profile so if you want to see all these details up close and in real time you can visit my patreon profile link is in the description so after adding these two layers I used my pencil blender to blend both the layers together and then I used the 173 for darker areas and again blended this third layer using the blender pencil and make sure to blend them thoroughly if you are using this specific paper. The paper which is actually used for color pencil is usually a smooth surface or plate surface bristol board which has a smooth or ultra smooth surface finish to avoid this hectic blending process. But I realized this after starting the eye portion so I'm gonna stick to this paper for the rest of this drawing. So after adding and blending all these layers I used the black 199 to add the contrast in the darker portions and used the same black color for the outlines of the eye and iris etc. Then I used my mono zero eraser and added these highlights on both the eyelids just like this. You can also use your electric eraser or jelly roll pen for these extra white highlights and in the end use your white 101 for this sclera or white portion of the eye and make sure to blend each and every layer if you see any rough overlapping or texture on the color. The nose portion is fairly simple than the eye. All I did here is added the base layer using 205 and second green layer using 168 and then I filled the darker portions using 173 and make sure to blend each layer individually in order to get smoothness of contrast in the end and then I used the black 199 for the contrast especially inside and around the nostrils etc just like this for this left eye I'm gonna repeat the exact same process as I did for the left one the only difference is in the left where the sunlight is falling on the eye in the reference image which you can easily add using the combination of 105 yellow color and white color. I'm gonna repeat the similar coloring process for this left cheek and upper lip portion as I did for the base layers in the previous portions. Again the only difference is the sunlight reflection which you can add using white and yellow color. And by the way if you are a beginner and want to learn the basics of drawing first you can join my course on Udemy. I put my course on sale for up to 90% off for 5 days of every month. You can check the link in the description to see if the sale is going on right now and get enrolled as soon as possible. Now moving on to the right cheek and after adding and blending both the base colors, 
I filled the shadowed portions using 173 but due to hastiness I filled them very roughly and with a thick tape of the color which resulted in a textured surface which you will see after the contrast. So make sure you don't repeat the same mistake I did. I tried my best to correct this by adding and blending a few more layers using 173 and 199. But as I always say in my graphite drawings, it's better to give the paper a proper base before adding the dark shades or colors. So now for the lips portion, I added the base using the same 205 and then I filled the lips thoroughly using this 188 and again added and blended the third darker layer using the same 173 and then I darkened the outline and added the texture using 199 and in the end you can use the white color or electric razor to add the highlights and texture on the lips just like this and for the remaining chin and neck portion you can repeat the same coloring process as I did for the previous portions but make sure you add these bright yellow and white highlights or sunlight reflections on these left portions Okay, now moving on to the hair and after adding the base, I filled the portion using 173 very roughly, which was again a bad idea because I had to re-add this dark layer thoroughly again because I was not able to get good contrast with my black color. So after blending and adding the contrast once again, I used my mono zero eraser for the highlights on these clusters of hairs in between. And then I used my 105 to give the highlights a yellow tint. I also used the 180 for brownish tint but it didn't make any difference in the end so you can skip that part if you want to and in the end I used my 199 with an extra sharp tip to add these micro details in the hair just like this another experiment I did for the hair on the right portion is I added the base using 173 first but kept the pressure maximum in order to fill the paper texture thoroughly and then I used the 199 to add these details and contrast for the hair I also filled the neck portion with the same technique and in the end I added these sharp highlights for the clusters of hair using mono zero razor. We just need to remove the upper dark layer of black from this 173 and you will easily get these fine looking clusters of hair or highlights. And for the claws I filled the base layer using 187 but you can use 194 as an alternative because it won't make any difference in the end. And after blending this layer using the blender pencil. I added these texture lines using this fine tip black color and also added some contrast in the shadowed portions using the same black color and in the end you can use your white color or mono zero razor or electric razor for the highlights on the boundaries of the claws and also in between the texture lines and with this last step we are done with our first realistic pencil color portrait it takes so much time and efforts to create these tutorials for you so please leave a like if you enjoyed this one it helps me a lot as a creator on YouTube. So if you want to get the real time tutorial of this drawing, you can visit my Patreon profile. And if you want to learn the basics of drawings first, you can join my course on Udemy. All the links are in the description down below. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.